So I'm down at the track, we've got a couple people learning. Um, one of the girls here, Amanda, she's literally gone from nothing. I'll be just doing a cool down lap, but. Just doing a cool down lap, but. 
the old faithful walk. I think she's literally had I think 10 of these, not even, not even 10 of these. Um, yeah, obviously the AU's got lock in it, so that's why she's pulling a big angle, but she's actually quite comfortable in the car, quite smooth. Um, those people asking, no, she, she is married, so she's gone. Sorry, fellas, but she's learned. She's learned quite well, actually. So, and that's, we've been doing a project here for that. And one of the other guys, Bryce. He's just a typical pommy rev head. Who never really got to drift. Was a hooligan, but never learnt to drift, actually. So, he's been out here learning. <laughs> Getting overconfident there, he's flicking it around, but done well, done well. The yeah, man's coming in just nice. You're wondering why it's got a Batman cape on it? Well, you've got cameras in the car and the window smashed. Got my rock coming at it, so that's that's what's happened there. Yeah, I can't film too much because they're they're filming other stuff, so. But I'm out here testing AU. She's a bit dirty. Yeah, we're getting some great stuff. The hey, just did call actually feel sick. So it's finally the first time that I've got it in the front. All set. I actually, it's got 14 kilos, which feel good. But I think I want to put some 16 kilos in. I think it would just make it feel on point. The Max Shack tires are horrible in the wet. Um, and I know this because the AUs out there running are like a 195 or a 205. Road X, which is to be a Jinyu tyre, and that's far better, particularly in the wet. But I wanted to test the diff ratio. We've got the three sevens in the drift car now as well. We got a true, not a true track, it's something like that. I talked with Dave at Mr. Transmissions what we use. I'm kind of testing it before I I'll tell people what we use. I really want to be comfortable and happy with it. So before you go and spend out a decent money on a dip center, if we're promising it's gonna do just right, I want it to make it look right. So I'll let you know in the coming months how we go. I really want to test it, be happy with it. Um, and I think that's it. I need to try and get a little bit of grip into the back of this before competition. Um, but other than that, it's feeling quite well. I've got to change the clutch because the clutch is, it's a stock clutch, it's just to save the T5. So it's been four years two years in that car and two years in, in the cheeseburger when it was manual. So yes, so, oh, it's quite good. Honestly, I don't know why you'd start drifting in something else. Long wheelbase, cheap, easy. Simple. But anyway, I'm so I'm happy with the drift car way it is. A few more little things, but it's actually really getting there. So I'm so excited. And then once I dial all this in, I've got a big gearbox for it. And then the motor's got all the stuff on to go boost. So the plan is to boost this car with the Link ECU and all that. So I'm going to talk with Link and things like that. All in the coming months. Now the website's launched, so if you're wondering how to buy our lock kits or anything like that, it's all on abhouse.com.au. Check it out there. We're going to be adding stuff constantly to make it affordable and easy to buy. So, thanks, guys.
We got Camo's first drifts. Sounds like he's in second gear. Come out for a bit of a uh, test. So, stock lock here.
brought us together and uh, just, he used to have a couple of Gazelle 31. He actually, he actually bought the cheeseburger. He actually bought the cheeseburger before I did for my Bucks party. Um, so he actually owned it first. So we drove to Sunny Coast and bought it, and then uh, I eventually bought it back off him um, because my R33 got crashed. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so that's how ABS started. That'll be one of the things I'll lead you on to how it all started. Yeah. Anyway. We're drifting our use together for a while, so I'm going to jump in the car and go for a bit more, a few more rips. There's a track's a bit patchy at the moment. Um, I want to head off home soon, so Bryce tipping it in, literally tipping it in. And Cam, our apprentice, you've seen him in many vlogs. He's finally out, first time on the track. Tipping it in. Yeah, mate, it's lost some of that. Mate, he's giving it a go, so that's, that's what you gotta do. Learn the limits. He's got stock lock, that's what I tell people you wanna learn with stock lock. Very easy for us to put knuckles in his car, because we have knuckles usually there. Uh, stock's a bit hard, so if you're waiting for knuckles, our apologies. Fabricator cannot keep up, we can't keep up. Didn't expect that we will need this many knuckles. Working our best to get through that, so do you wait for knuckles? No apologies, so we're getting there. Not all our cars have knuckles for this reason. Some of them we actually pulled out just because people wait for knuckles that long, so I just took some out of some cars. Gave them a fresh coat of paint, set them on their way, but consider yourself lucky if you got the ones out of our car directly. I mean, they're all the same, but if you got the ones out of our car, well, at least it was drifted on. So. There we go, got a bit of a rip. It's obviously a bit tricky as it's like wet here, a little bit dry there, and then the whole outside's wet and then there's like a dry patch there. It's a bit weird but a little bit dry at the top there and then it's like wet again down here. Probably sees a little bit of smoke starting to come off the tires. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna jump back into it with some skids. Um, 
Um, so we're gonna do that. No really order, just the way I remembered it. We're gonna go for it. So, a uh, couple things. So yep, probably worked it out. I am qualified mechanic. Uh, been working since 2008. 2008 is when I started my apprenticeship. So through that, now I started on some Japanese cars. All of you know that my Nissan uh, C33 Laurel is my first car and my first drift car. So still got that. That's the blue one you guys seen a lot of the videos behind, and we'll be coming back. However, that's our main thing we used to do. So our plan was to do Nissan's uh, part out Nissan and stuff like that. So when when me and Nicholas. Um, you will see his Ute and his R33 that we're working on and also we've got his Subaru. So me and Nick started it, it was we wanted to do a Japanese car. That's what we really wanted to do. That's, that's been our passion was Japanese stuff. We love the Japanese culture. Obviously drifting originated from Japan, so you get it. It's Japanese. Um, never really knew how things would go, but it was a bit hard and it really got to the point where it was pointless competing with so many other companies to provide the same product with its second hand, you know, power steering parts, you know, engine stuff, things like that. So predominantly we used to do RB engines, the so RB20, RB25, RB30s, the main engines we kind of ran with the 25 head on it. So we know RBs and stuff like that. Um, still keeping RBs in, in the family of our cars. Obviously, we're doing AUs and, and all that stuff as well, which is great fun because they're so cheap to run. That's what makes them so great. And for me, it's always been about getting track time for as little as possible. And with, with currently the prices right now with Japanese cars, well, it seems a bit dumb to go and try and start learning something that's so expensive. And parts are obviously harder to get. So that's that. So we've been Japanese cars for a long time. Obviously we still have that Japanese flavor in it, but we've got to use what we have here in Australia. So that's what we're doing. Oh, I guess, obviously, probably only how long I've been drifting for. I've been drifting since 2009. So I used to actually compete in a series called Stadium Drift. Now it originated actually in Parklands on the Gold Coast. So that was actually bad. That's, that's where I first went and watched the drift. Um, local to us. Um, I've been drifting down in other states as well. I've been down in South Wales in the South Australia. I haven't drifted in Victoria, hopefully soon. Um, obviously uh, Rayleigh Drift Series, so I used to do that so in Coffs Harbour. Great local series, awesome, awesome track, like the full Japanese feel with the elevations and stuff like that, so really awesome track. Now I competed there um, I actually first judged, so I actually was judging there. Um, I judged there I think for like two years. I can't remember. I had a year off, so I judged for one series and then I went and I had to judge here and there because I hadn't really come on. But I did win that series uh, once, I'm pretty sure. Now, that was great. People like kind of got over me winning every round, but that was great. But I definitely spent a lot of years not winning losing just due to being spastic when it came to competitions because I just drive even harder than I needed to. So that really uh, made difficult spots and stuff like that. So that's another little thing there. Um, I'm gonna have a little break, get some food. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Cameron's first time out on the track. He's our apprentice. You would have seen him in the videos flying in and out and stuff like that. I did tell him last year some time that he's got by the time he's a 30 year apprentice to learn how to drift so it's kind of his first time out i don't know why he was nervous because archie is it's actually quite big i don't know why there's so many people that i talked to even like last week they're like, i don't want to go to archie i don't want to damage my car and i'm like yeah i see them out doing roundabouts and i'm like mate roundabout is smaller than the archie so get out to archie if you haven't been if you're worried about walls you can literally go there without hitting your walls or your car. So, first time out for him, he did all right. His car is a little bit underpowered, a little couple things, issues going on with it. So, it's gonna sort that. I had a bit of a thing. 
car felt terrible, so I fixed it. Um, and then I took, obviously took it out to the, the comp. Felt a lot better, but obviously I had issues for that. So that was one thing, but hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, just a bit of a fang. Um, yeah, just casual Sunday kind of drift. We had a, uh, a friend of ours, a private track hire. They were filming some stuff and they wanted me out to help, so I thought I'll use the opportunity to go do some skeets. So we did. Peace out.